I do try, um, you know, to make things work as as uh, as well as I as well as I can. And, you can hear uh, the exasperation in Lord Gait's um, voice. This was him in front of a committee of MPs uh, yesterday, and tonight so this statement a few words and even less detail. With regret, I feel that it's right that I'm resigning from my post as independent advisor on ministers' interests. Lord Guy used to be the Queen's most senior advisor before taking on the job he's just left. His task as independent advisor, overseeing and investigating ethics and behaviour in government at a time dominated by rows about the Prime Minister's own conduct. Last month, he said it was a legitimate question to ask if Boris Johnson had breached the ministerial code by breaking Covid laws. But the code's author and guardian, as he put it, were Mr Johnson. The Prime Minister denied such a breach. Given that, he was asked yesterday... Whether you contemplated resignation. There are a few instruments available to an independent advisor and... Um... I'm going to take that answer as at least it was on the agenda. Uh, we've mentioned before in evidence that it's always on the agenda um, as an available um, uh, remedy to a particular problem and one that my predecessor indeed exercised. That was a reference to the resignation of this man, Sir Alex Allen, who gave up the same job in November 2020 after finding the Home Secretary Priti Patel had broken the ministerial code, but Boris Johnson wouldn't sack her. Tonight, a government spokesman said, We are surprised by this decision, given Lord Geit's commitment to the role. Whilst we are disappointed, we thank Lord Geit for his public service. The person who should have left Downing Street tonight is the Prime Minister himself. And the whole country will be wondering just how long do they have to wait for those Tory MPs to do the right thing. Thank you very much. It's this long-standing public servant who's walked, leaving plenty of questions behind him.